Hello everyone and welcome back! In this lesson we are going to explore the notions of documents and collections in a Cloud Firestore database. Let's quickly do a guided tour of the database that we have here. So we are going to click here on the home icon and we are going to go to the root of the database. So as you can see, unlike a normal SQL database, in this database there are no tables and columns and foreign keys, etc. Firestore is a NoSQL database. On Firestore, the minimal unit of storage is what is called a document, which is very similar to a JSON object. We can think of it that way. A document will then be grouped in a collection. A collection is a queryable group of documents. Let's have a look at examples of each. So if we inspect here the home tab of our database, we're going to see that we only have one collection. It's the courses collection. This is known as a top level root collection. Let's click into it to see what we have inside. So we can see that we are loading here a list of documents. So as we can see, a collection is a group of documents. Let's quickly have a look here at one particular document. We're going to click on the first document of the list and we're going to scroll down and we're going to see that the document has several fields. So we have here, for example, a field called sequence number. We have here a field called lessons count, icon URL, etc. So these are the fields of this particular document. We can see from the type of fields that we have here and from the name of the collection that this document here corresponds to a single course. So we have here a collection of multiple courses, each with its own title, URL, etc. Also, each document, each course document, has a unique identifier that we see here on this list. This is very similar to a primary key in a SQL database. It's a unique key that uniquely identifies this particular course and no other. We are going to cover in detail these unique identifiers in a future lesson. Right now, let's just keep in mind that these identifiers are unique to each document. Also notice that every course object has exactly the same fields. So all courses have here a titles nested object, which is known as a map that contains here the description of the course and the long description. So if you click in any course of the collection, you're going to see here the titles nested map with these two fields present. But notice that these objects all have the same fields by convention. There is no schema definition in Firestore. So this means that the database is schemaless. There is no constraint at the level of the database enforcing that all documents in a given collection must all have these exact fields. Each document in the collection could potentially have its own fields. So let's add here a field to one document, for example. Let's give it a name, let's call it extra field. We're going to say that it's of type boolean and we're going to say that the value is true. We're going to add it here to the database and we're going to scroll up and we're going to see that the new field it's here. So there is absolutely no problem if a document in a collection contains a field that no other document in that collection contains. This database is schemaless by nature. This makes the database much more scalable. We don't run into problems like having to alter a table to add a new column taking hours to execute. But on the other hand, we don't have as many guarantees at the level of the database that the data in a given collection will have a given format. So there is a trade-off going on here. Let's now go back to the notion of documents. So as we have mentioned, a document is the minimal unit of storage in our database. And it roughly corresponds to the notion of a JSON object. So every document here on the courses database is going to correspond to an object available here in our courses map that we have defined here in our DB data file. So this object here is going to correspond to a document in the courses collection. We can see here that the titles nested object that we have here has been uploaded into Firestore as a map. So if we switch back here to the console and we scroll down here, 
in one of the course documents, we are going to see here that we have here a collapsible map. We have here the name map next to the titles object. And if we click into it, we are going to have here the description and the long description, just like we have here in our DB data file. Firestore also supports the use of nested arrays. So we have here a categories array, which is a property of a course object. And this array might contain here multiple categories, such as beginner, intermediate, advanced, etc. So this array is going to be uploaded also to the Firestore database and the array is going to show up here in our console under the categories property. So we can see here between parentheses that this is an array, in this case only with one element. And with this we now have an initial idea of what is a document and a collection in a Firestore database. Notice that inside the courses collection we have here a lessons nested collection. Let's talk about the difference between top level root collections like courses and nested collections like lessons. 